Hi! Welcome to episode 3 of the Cromwell Chronicles, a Monster Hearts 2 actual play podcast by Midnight Ceremonies Media. I'm Dia Reeves and I play Jimena Cardo Garcia on the show. Now, to see the transcripts and content warnings for this episode, and just to know more about our show, please visit midnightceremoniesmedia.com. You can also follow us at Midnight C Media on Twitter and Instagram for updates and more information. If you're tweeting or posting about our content, please use hashtag the Cromwell Chronicles or hashtag TCC Spoilers. We would love to see what you think. Thank you so much for listening, and I hope you enjoy this episode of the Cromwell Chronicles. Okay, so we resumed last session on a Friday morning, uh, where Daisy May came back out of, woke up from her gnome form, and immediately entered her darkest self because somebody was walking off the path in the garden. After, like, doing some checking with the security guards and, like, looking at footage, Daisy May got, had got, like, suspicious of Jimena, who had been spotted on the cameras, like, going towards the garden. But she ran into Ren first, who was back in the garden and back off the path. So (laughs) she, Daisy May... Uh, turned back into her gnome form and whacked Ren in the back of the ankle. Uh, and then Ren immediately fell over and landed in the rose bushes and pretty much squashed them and also lost all their stuff, like all over the ground, um, which did get Daisy May out of her darkest self because she realized how her actions had hurt uh, the place that she cared about and loved. Um, unfortunately... Josh also witnessed this whole thing happen and just stood there making fun of Ren until uh, Ro pulled up in their truck and started helping Ren and also like saw Josh like leaving. Um, And Ren tried to like tell Ro that Josh wasn't responsible for what happened, but they didn't believe her. Ren and Ava had a conversation because they have the same first class in the morning. And then uh, during lunch, Ro invited Alex. Oh, and also Ro and Ren are now in the same band. Uh, Ro invited Ren to join their band. Um, Then at lunch, Ro and Alex, uh, Ro got Alex to join the band on keys. Um, And then Ava was eating in the art room with her friend Alicia, where we found out this rumor about Josh. um, And also the fact that he was... He's throwing, like, a Halloween party over the weekend, so Ava was like, what if I threw a party so that you didn't have to go? And Alicia was like, hell yeah. Um, Unfortunately, that word got around really, really fast. (laughs) Because, um, Because Ray told Ro and Alex, and Ro then invited everybody to Eva's party so that everyone would stop like looking at Ren because simultaneously to that happening um Alex and Ro like flamed the shit out of Josh at lunch in a very public space and made him storm away uh and so now all the band kids are invited to Eva's party and um Josh Extra hates Ro and Alex now. That's that's not a problem. This won't have consequences. Um, when will so, you learn? When will you learn? <laughs> Your actions have consequences. <laughs> so, meanwhile, Daisy May did track down Jimena to ask about to ask if Jimena was the one in the garden. Jimena actually didn't know about the garden, so they had, like, a very, like, friendly little moment where Daisy May talked about the gardens and showed Jimena everything, um, and Jimena actually seemed, like, pretty interested in it. Um, uh, Daisy May also went and tracked down Ren and told Ren that she was the gnome and apologized for hitting her in the back of the ankle with a shovel. Um, and so... They had a cute little heartwarming moment where they hugged after Daisy May apologized. Um, Ro got Alex and Ray to promise that they are in the band for real and are invested. Um, And Alex and Jimena, like, had a moment in the hallway where uh, Alex helped Jimena heal. Um, With orange juice? Yes. 
Oh, also, another important thing that I totally missed was that Jimena went to the library during lunch to cast the spell to find out about, like, Rose's darkest secrets because Josh paid her to. <laughs> uh, and so Jimena found out some stuff about Ro that is pretty personal. Um, but after school that day, uh, as Eva, Eva and Alex were leaving, they saw, standing in the parking lot... The old soccer captain from last year, some guy named Matthew, who was just like staring into the middle distance and didn't like react to them, but Eva waved at him and Al and Matt just stared at her. Very sus. Yep. Very sus. Very. Who is the imposter? <laughs> Matt. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Or Eva. <laughs> no. Eva wouldn't hurt anybody. Hmm. <laughs> Thinking. So, yes. Thank you, Catherine. Um, I would like us to, um, you know, everyone we kind of had lots going on at lunch. There was the rest of the school day. Um, and then at the end, you know, it was Friday evening, most people headed home. Um, and there was gardening club on campus and we didn't really get to spend time there. Um, so I was thinking of um, starting still Friday afternoon um, with, uh, the gardening club. Did Daisy, um, like, make plans to talk to Jimena again after class, after school? Um, was there an invitation to a gardening club? Was there, I feel like I remember there being, like, something that was still not resolved there yet. Is that correct? Um, I remember I wanted to talk to Day to Humana. I honestly don't remember if we had like set up an official meeting. Um, Dia, would Humana have um like remembered that Daisy said like, "Hey, I'd like to talk to you again later when we have more time," and 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 and. Would have sought daisy out or would he have just headed home i absolutely think that it would have been on jimena's mind for like at least an hour or so of the like rest of her day um i don't i think she would have been um nervous about going to see daisy may but she definitely would have lingered outside of the garden um just to give daisy a chance to like see her or something so um you are lingering outside um the garden and um you see a couple of um students um not many who you recognize you recognize daisy and you recognize ro um there's um a um uh, indian american uh, young woman with long brown hair and a ponytail um, who like she's kind of dressed nice like she's like got really like nice makeup and black lipstick but um, has like pulled on like a pair of like oversized overalls to like cover up her um, outfit that she wore that day and like is down on her knees kind of like digging in the dirt um pulling out weeds um there's a kind of um <laughs> short uh dirty curly blonde hair um a boy with like a big smile and he's not currently working in the garden but he's like kind of talking he's um like snacking on some chips um and and talking you know to this girl and there's you know someone else kind of off in the corner 
um, also like weeding. Um, Daisy, do you notice uh, uh, Jimena? Or are you in, uh, focused on your garden? Or really, you're not in your garden, but you're on kind of the, the edge of working the, the grounds kind of along the back side of um, the music building. I think for during gardening club, Daisy May would be a little more like focused on everyone, just kind of like making sure they're all actually pulling weeds and <laughs> doing what they're supposed to do. I feel like Daisy probably knows that Rose is pretty self-sufficient, but the others are still just like needing a little extra attention. Um, so I think Daisy May would definitely notice Jimena and would probably walk up and go like, um, what, he hello, Jimena, do, do you have a moment to talk? Um, yeah, yeah, I'm, I don't, yeah. Okay, um, yeah, so I just, I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about, um, well, you see, the other day, uh, after school, well, after the classes were done, um, I believe jazz band was practicing, and I was in the garden doing some gardening, as I do, um, and I looked up, and I thought I saw you going through some of the bags that were in the hall out outside of the jazz band practice um and I I didn't think you were in practice in in the jazz band so I was just wondering um what you were doing and it looks a little bit like you maybe found something um it seemed like you were maybe looking closely around uh Ro's bag and you found it looked it looked almost like you took something from Rose's bag. Jimena freezes up and like glances over to wherever Ro is in the gardening club and looks back to Daisy May. I don't I um I don't I don't know what you saw, but it didn't no, I was Don't, just not, that's not my business, not yours. I don't worry about it. That was nothing. I would say he meant a rule to keep your cool. Okay. <laughs> that's cold, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, I do not have a very good cold. That's a, uh, I rolled a two and a six, so that's an eight minus one, so that's a seven. I would ask Daisy, what is your intention here? Daisy's friends with Ro, so I think there's like this, I don't want you messing with my friend. So I guess the intention is to like see if Humana is sort of like, Almost like friend or foe. Like, were you doing something to mess with my friend? Because then we have a problem. Um, I would say if you choose to lie in this circumstance, Jimena, you would open yourself up to making an enemy of Daisy. You are teetering at the balance between a positive or negative relationship right now. Yeah, him and allies. What, um, what do you continue to say? I don't know what you saw, but what you saw didn't happen. I was just looking for something. It wasn't in Rose shit. It wasn't in anybody's shit. So stay out of my stay out of my business well alrighty um 
I find it interesting that you say it wasn't in anybody's shit when um, you were you were clearly digging around other people's, as you would say, shit. Um, and I I would just like to ask that you leave now, um, and if you could please not visit my garden in the future. Sounds good to me. And Jimena, like, takes her platform, squinches them into the grass, and then turns around and starts walking off. What do you do, Daisy? I think Daisy is immediately going to walk over to Ro. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> Ro is minding his business, did not see anything that just happened, has no clue what's going on. It's literally like, just like, hands in the dirt, like, weeding or something. Is is having a little bit of trouble because he doesn't, like, know what things to pull out of the ground. He's like, oh, but this is so pretty, I can't yank this one. So it's not that, like he does it. He's pulling out things that should be there. He doesn't want to pull out things that shouldn't be there. Um, so Rose just like, oh, oh, hey, Daisy May. Actually, um, I did want to talk to you. I'm not like sure. I I can leave all this in, right? This like, this stuff can stay, right? Um. Well, oh, Ro. Um. So. You're you're very close. Um that one is actually a terrible weed. Um it's incredibly invasive. It was not native to America even. Um and it we we really want to get that one out of there cuz it really likes to kill all of the trees and all the flowers. Um so if you could just pull those ones, that that would also be good. Okay. Yeah, I can, I, I can do that. Um, okay. Ro starts pulling up the weeds and tucks one in his pocket. <laughs> oh, um, okay. Um, Ro, I was actually on my way over here because I, I wanted to talk to you about something and I think while they're talking Daisy's gonna start like weeding as well mm -hmm. just like oh Ro missed one oh Ro missed another <laughs> <laughs> we'll just we'll just kind of both weed this area right now um Ro do you know uh a person who well they hang out I, I don't I don't see you in the library a lot, but they hang out in the library, um, and they- Yeah, I'm never there. Yeah, uh, they have- they dress very uniquely. They usually have, like, a, a little umbrella with them. Oh, um, uh, Jimena? Yeah, it's Jimena. Um, do you- do you know him well? Uh, yeah. Yeah, actually, Jimena's part of my band. Oh. Um, okay. Um. Are you guys, like, friends? Is everything chill? Well, I wouldn't say we're friends. Um, you see, we're friends, you know, and I feel a want and a need to protect you. And I saw something yesterday, and I just, it seemed very strange. Um, and so I talked to Jimena about it today. Um, it seemed very strange, and, well, I really do believe I saw him going through your stuff and taking something out of your bag yesterday when you were in jazz band. Huh, that's weird. Yeah, I didn't like notice anything was gone, so I don't know okay. if like she took anything. I mean, did you know what it was? I couldn't, I was a little far away. I couldn't see 
exactly what it was. It looked like a small thing out of your bag. Um, but I talked to them about it and he very blatantly lied about it and was very rude and she just told me to leave it alone and it was none of my business but you know he was clearly doing something with your stuff and that would make it your business and being friends it becomes my business um so I don't know I don't know they just he she gave me a weird not very good vibes um I was like gosh uh I just I don't know. I I don't know what they were trying to do, but I think just keep an eye on him. I don't know. Um, yeah, I guess. I mean, like, I'll be honest. He had, like, he seemed chill to me. So, I, like, I gave her a ride the other day. Um, but, I mean, yeah, sure. I'll, like, keep an eye on it or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, cause I, um, I talked to her earlier today and we had, well, we had a great conversation. They showed interest in the garden. It was all very nice. Um, but then when I talked to him about this, it was just like a completely different person. So, I don't know, just keep an eye on him. You're a self-sufficient person, but I, I just wanted you to have all the information that I have. Are you, are you trying to um, pull a string on either Roe or Daisy? Or <laughs> Roe or Humana? Could I? You could, um, you can give, you can tempt someone you can tempt Roe to do something that you want. You can also give Humana a condition. I kind of like the idea of giving Humana. Um, could I give the condition of like a thief? Or oh, what would be like more damaging? I would like say, some... I was thinking like untrustworthy. Yeah. I was but... like two-faced untrustworthy two-faced is good too shall we go with two-faced let's go with that after interacting with them today they just seemed a little two-faced um but you know you can make your own decisions um yeah i'll 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 keep it in, I'll keep it in mind. I mean, like, yeah, I guess, like, thanks for letting me know. I don't want, like, not cool people to be in my band. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I'll, like, maybe, maybe I'll, like, text them and see what's up or something like that. I don't know. But, yeah, I, thanks, thanks for telling me. Yeah. How's, how is the band coming along? uh pretty good we're sort of missing just a guitarist at this point like you know like a six string guitarist because i'm obviously like bass guitarist so yeah if you know anybody you can like actually play the guitar that'd be super sick would would love Um. another i mean that's literally the missing piece at this point so yeah uh, missing link (laughs) Uh, unfortunately, I don't know Some anyone joke. who plays a guitar. Do you have a fiddle in your band? Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, you were talking to her earlier, Ren, Aurora. She's, like, super chill, yeah. super cool. She plays the violin. I mean, I don't think that's really, like, our vibe. It's more like drums and, like, rock and shit like that. But, um... A fiddle, a fiddle. You know, like, we could do an acoustic kind of thing eventually, maybe. Thank you. You know, a fiddle can be very rock. There's a lot of, uh, kind of like, uh, I, I suppose you might say like a head banging, uh, music, uh, that's very mm. country and it, it often has a fiddle. I just, I love the sound of a fiddle. So I would highly recommend getting a fiddle in your band. 
Yeah, no, for sure. For sure. Yeah, I'll think about it. Okay. Let me know when you guys are having a concert or, you know. Yeah, you can, like, come to rehearsals and stuff. Oh, holy shit. Wait. Daisy May, did you hear about there's, like, a party tomorrow night? Do you want to come? A party? I... Yeah. My friend Alex's sister is, like, throwing a rager tomorrow at their house. Well, that sounds fun. I, to be honest, I've never actually been invited to a party. Yeah, well, it's going to be fun. Um, also, I'm, like, in charge of the music. It's not going to be live, probably, but I'm going to have, like, a sick playlist. So you should come. It'll be really, like, it'll be, like, super fun. I'll, like, text you the address and stuff. Sounds very fun fun I'll, yeah I'll try also it's like it. a halloween yeah it's like a halloween party so like maybe you could also bring a costume well i'll text you i don't know if it's a costume party but it might be okay so if it is i'll let you know okay yeah right. wait do you know what you're going for at for halloween um well i was gonna dress up as well a cowgirl oh that's sick that's sick that's dope i love that I'm going as a werewolf. Oh, very. Yeah, it's like just like my normal outfit and like sideburns, but you oh. know. Very, very cool. Are, are you gonna yeah. have some uh, claws? I was thinking about it. I was thinking I'd like go get like those like, you know, like those furry gloves that have like the crazy claws on them. That would like be my other thing. That would be very cool. You could like, you know, walk up behind people and scare them. Yeah, like like fake by people. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'll. That sounds super fun. Um, do you need like a ride or anything? I'll like text you and uh, I can pick you up. Yeah. Uh, if th- just uh text me the address and I'll probably be able to walk. I usually like to walk around and look at all the Halloween decorations. So. Okay. Yeah, sh- totally. I'll just, like, meet you there. I'll, t- I'll like, text you the details and everything. All right. Well, thank you. Oh, bro. Yeah, um, no problem. Y- you missed a weed. Oh, shit. I mean, are you sure that's, like, a weed? Yes. Yes. I, I know it has a flower. Uh, that's a part of the, the weed scheme is they-, they grow flowers and then they look, quote, unquote, pretty. And then you're like, oh, no, let's leave it. And then they kill all your flowers and all your trees, and they're evil, so you got to get out the weeds. Yeah. For sure. Um, oh, shit, I got to go. Um, I have, like, I have to, like, go, go, uh, I, I have to, like, figure some stuff out today, but, um, so I got to leave early if that's fine. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Okay, cool. Yeah, sick. Thanks, Daisy May. I will see you around, like, hopefully tomorrow. Yeah, see you hopefully tomorrow. Yeah. Bye-bye. Bro gives, like, the little rock and roll sign and and heads over to their tr- truck, which they jump inside. Daisy May goes and continues to weed that area, getting all of the weeds row left. So... so- by giving Jimena a condition, I have used my string on them, on him. Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, I don't know if technically that's supposed to be, like, to someone's face, but I think conditions are, like, rumors, you know? It's fun to, like, have that spread. Um, yeah. Where, where, where does Ro head out to? Um, Ro is heading to go see their sister ivy so you drive out um down kind of this this somewhat winding highway and you um eventually it's the state highway eventually um it's that's like it's a state highway but it's not like you know it's kind of like a just a big road um you know how some state highways aren't like fully like divided off um and it kind of goes around the lake and there is a um a place where you can turn off into a a big empty gravel parking lot and there's this kind of wild woods 
on one side and you there's this big building in front of you about the size of like so maybe like half a block it's not really that there's like simple blocks here it's kind of just like kind of along the upper edge of the lake um but you park your truck and um you know you can head right into the woods um there's a formal way you know you can go through this um it's actually you know, the formal name is, is the the magical mystical market <laughs> it's this kind of like weird antique shop with all sorts of little vendors and things and it's where phil works um you could head on side and he would show you to the back where ivy lives but that's stupid and lame uh so bro just goes around the building <laughs> there's lots of um pine trees and kind of uh twisted foliage um there's lots of ivy covering the ground and twisting up these trees do you say anything as you walk back or um yeah ro kind of like lightly puts a hand on like the trunk of a tree like covered in ivy and says uh, as like he's walking and says um Hey, Ivy, it's me. If you're around, I'd like to chat. There's a shift that kind of ripples through the vines and leaves, um, but there's no wind. There's, it's just, you watch the ivy slowly kind of move and emerging from the shadows still wrapped and draped in this ivy is um, a tall kind of not quite human uh, female figure with dark brown skin, the texture of bark, long floppy pointed ears two tall spiraling black antlers that are kind of similar to antelope antlers long waist length curly black hair and these piercing green eyes she goes hey what's up um not not much uh I, um, how, how are, how are you? Um, I'm here. It's, you know, it's kind of warm, which is nice. I like the sun. I don't, you want to talk about something, clearly. Okay, okay. So I thought we could have a conversation like normal siblings, but I guess we can just get into it. I don't want to um, waste your time. You have so little of it. You sound like mom. Oh, that's the um, worst insult you could give me. It's true. Anyway, since you don't want to waste my time, um, fuck. Uh, I did, I, was, there's a kid at my school who is a total dick. Um, but. Dick how? What is, what's he done? He pushed a kid into the rose bushes. Oh, utter dick. Uh, yeah. He, he's also like just in general an asshole, but um, I did something really mean to him today. Mean I, how? Um, I mean... It was in the cafeteria, so I couldn't do anything to him, but I sort of called him out in front of a bunch of people and told him he sucked and made him, you know, sort of leave in tears. And that's what he deserved. That's justice. Yeah, I know. 
Why do you feel bad about that? Because I should feel bad and I don't. That doesn't and make that's sense. Humans, normal people, feel bad when they're mean to people. And I just feel like satisfied and but you weren't mean you were rebalancing the scales he was mean you never you're not doing something unprompted that would be mean i mean my dad would say that an eye for an eye makes the whole world go blind well your father's not here yeah i fucking know you either have to forge your own path or go back and live with your daddy. I don't know. You're not, what, are you moving on or are you? I just would like maybe someone, anyone in my life to explain to me what the fuck is going on with me. Your mom is not here, obviously. And I just would like a little bit of fey guidance from a mentor figure in my life. I don't want to mentor you. Thanks. I look, mom not being here sucks, but she's that's her problem. That's how she is. And it's like, I mean, you could go live with her. She probably would pay attention with, to you if you're like by her side. I, I don't, I, I would if I didn't, if I actually like fucking fit in there. Uh, but I everyone likes you yeah everyone likes me because I'm a little exotic freak half human half fae I don't fit in they just think of me like I'm some passing whatever I this yeah no you were right this was a waste of my time um fuck I'm gonna go I'm, I'm gonna go sorry to bother you thanks I mean, I don't care. I like, you're interesting to talk to. Thanks, Ivy. You are such a great sibling. And, and Rose starts walking away. I'm sorry I don't have practice. <sighs> Where does Ro go? I think Ro just gets in his truck and like drives around for a while. I don't think he's really close enough to anyone to like want to be around them at the moment. Um, and he doesn't want to go back to Phil's apartment. So I think he just drives around for like a couple of hours. What does Jimena do after leaving Daisy May? I think Jimena finds a little secluded corner to sit down in and like jams her earbuds into her ears and plays her music really loud and death glares at anybody that even dares to walk by her so she doesn't head home no she would eventually though she'd spend like 30 minutes like um lingering around but would probably start to walk home once she realizes she doesn't have anywhere to go would she go back to where she's been living or would she go home to her mom I think Amanda's looking for someone to be upset with right now, so she would probably go home, home. Okay. Well, we'll get, we'll come back to that then. I just want, that's good to know. Um, what does Ren do Friday afternoon after school gets out? Ren walks to the bus stop to take the bus home. And instead of listening to Tangled on the way home, Ren spends a long time trying to figure out how to spell Nirvana and then listens to a Nirvana album because she had, in fact, told Ro that she had listened to Nirvana and she has not. So she is going to do that real fast. Which, which album is it? Is it Bleach or is it oh like... God. Oh no, I, Casey doesn't know anything about music. Um... So whatever one, it smells like Teen Spirit is in Nirvana, right? 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 Yes. Like whatever. I that whatever. Album is Lithium. Great, Lithium. Yeah, it's the one with the naked baby on the front. Sure. Yeah. Um, 
Ren's a bit confused, but Ren likes, you know, high energy thing, and Ren thinks Ro is nice, and Ro cares about this, so by association, Ren likes it at least a little. What does, um, what does Ren do once the bus finally pulls up to, um, Mr. Campbell's? Uh, Ren walks home, jumps on the bucket, opens the window, yells, Hi, Mr. Campbell, I'm home, and then runs off to the shack without waiting for a response, because he's probably there. He probably heard. Um, runs off to the shack, puts all their stuff down, and I think as they're taking off the backpack and, like, unstacking books and, like, maybe going to put their hair up, they find a piece of, like, broken off rose bush stem or whatever, like, you know, just from a thing. Holds it, looks at it for a while. And puts it on the shelf. And has an idea about what to do with that. And then continues unpacking and, you know, putting stuff down, listening to Nirvana. <laughs> and then eventually, you know, once we've listened to enough Nirvana, we'll turn it back to, like, how to train your dragon soundtrack. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And maybe, I don't know, maybe go sit by the water. Run uneventful afternoon, just hanging out. Nice, relaxing. Um, Mr. Campbell prepares, um, you know, yummy uh, dinner. Um, it's like probably like a, a casserole or something. Or the weather's nice. He grills. He 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 grills. Um, he would grill. Yeah, grilled zucchini, grilled salmon that like he like takes out like salmon that he like froze that oh, lends cool. like yeah awesome what what who who what where should we go next should we go to the petros or should we go to Jimena? let's go to the petros because we haven't gone talk to you guys yet today you know jacob's driving you home car pulls up in front of your house um i think it's you know it's now starting to get dark um saffron i have a question yes would alec would alex have noticed uh the whole interchange between eva and matt because i don't that's a, i kind of think he you wouldn't decide <laughs> <laughs> he's just blissfully <laughs> unaware that is true. You did describe him as a himbo. So. Yeah. Just, just he just waves. I was just like, "Hey, that's weird." My old captain wasn't didn't pay attention to me, and then just like sat down, and just <laughs> looked at his phone. Um, how's Eva feeling right now? Um, she feels fine. She's more stressed about the party than the then the interaction with matt okay um yeah so jacob uh pulls up um you know parks the car he gets out um he's using his um cane today but he go heads over to you know almost out of habit go to open the doors the doors you. are already open yeah we open the doors ah <sighs> Right. Yep. <laughs> um, I am gonna go make dinner. Oh yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you, Jacob. I think your your mother is um, in her studio. Your mother has a art studio in the back of the house. <laughs> Jacob's like, okay. I'll see you at dinner. Okay. See okay. you at dinner. Uh do do you know where dad is? Oh, um I don't know. I would ask your mother. Okay. I just know where she is. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Cool, 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 cool. Uh yeah. Um, uh, Eva will head inside and she'll go Fall. right to the art studio. Oh, uh, do you want me, uh, to come with? Um, 
Uh, y- y- yeah. Yes, please. Okay. Okay. For the first time, Alex looks awkward in his own home. So you head you head back to the art studio, and you see um, your mother is in kind of um, like a lounging like silk robe um, that she like sometimes wears around the house that has like various kind of like it's black with like various kind of like red floral patterns on it Um, and she's looking she's currently um, working on a sketch so you see her she's kind of sketching and um you you see that she kind of has this like uh display in front of her of like the kind of like a still life display that she's kind of like doing like a sketch of to then like a preliminary sketch to paint later and there's like it's like some like grapes and like apples in a bowl and there's like candelabra and like a skull, like a human skull. <laughs> uh, Eva will walk on. Will walk in, and uh, she'll say, um, "Hi, mom." Hi, mom. Oh, children, you're home. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the sketch looks nice. Oh, it looks very good. Thank you. You haven't lost much of your skills and. In- Hundred something years. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I work hard not to lose my skills. <laughs> um. Mom, what is on your mind? You look uh, troubled. Uh, where, where's Dad? Oh, um. I think maybe he was out in the garden. Oh, um. Okay. Before we go talk to Dad, um, I'm. Uh, You know how, uh, we've been making a lot of friends at school. Mm Mm-hmm. Um, we were, we were wondering, would you be okay if we threw a party for a few friends, um, tomorrow? What time? Um... Eva will turn to Alex and be like, what What time do parties? What time party? I think like, oh, yeah. like 7, 8, 8 p.m. PM? Oh, I... Yes, what kind of, what kind of party? A movie party? We, we have the, we have the basement with, with the, our, um, flat screen TV. That would be good. Yeah, that would be a good space. You could do that. Um, us. All of us? Oh! Yeah. And we were thinking oh, some music both of as your well. friends? Yeah. Yeah, our... Yeah. We've been making a lot of new friends yeah. recently. A lot of new friends, actually. Oh! <laughs> oh! How... Alex how is very people? popular. How many people would it be? Uh, how many people are in the band? Uh, something maybe like... 20 people? Oh! Oh! Well, I'm, we have plenty of room. I'm sure we can... Yeah. We can make arrangements. That's that's great. Thank you, yes. Thank you. We can make arrangements. Yeah, and we can, we can take care of all, like, the organizing, you know, um... Oh, no, just ask Jacob to do that. Okay. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Art, I'm, I'm so happy that you two are making friends. I would love to meet them. Oh, this is this will be so exciting. Yeah. Well, y- you know, they're really more Alex's friends than mine. I mean, you have he's some friends popular. coming. He's very popular. Yeah, I have some friends coming, I'm, but he's very popular. I'm not. Po- I don't think band is a group of popular individuals but well that's a lot of people it, it's the whole band no it's it's like it's a group it's it's the jazz band 
Oh. You know, mm -hmm. I play I play piano with them. No. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, and then maybe like a couple other friends that I met through one of the jazz band members. He's the popular one. He makes so many friends just very quickly. Sure. Well, I can't wait to meet them all. They're super nice. Very loud, but I'm sure they're nice. Well, yeah, we'll, we'll try and... We'll, we'll be great. It'll be great. Okay. Well, I'm sure your father will want to know about this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're I can tell talk Dad. it over with him. I can I'm talk sure it with Dad. He will be so excited. Yeah. I hope so. Yeah. So, yes. Oh, I think Jacob would just went to the store, but we'll make sure we have plenty of popcorn and and candy and, um... Yeah. Yeah. Whatever people at parties eat. Yeah. It's a movie party. It's a movie party, yeah. It's a party, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Mom. I'll see you at dinner. Yep. You will. Uh -huh. Yep. Mm-hmm. You will shut the door and, like, they'll, like, when they're only a little bit away from the studio, she'll be like, okay, I, uh, I think that went, that, that went well. Yeah, that went well. That she went didn't well. say no. She said yes. Yeah, that's the opposite of no. <laughs> Somehow. <laughs> Whew. Okay. Uh, I don't know. I was just stressed, but. Guess for nothing? Jacob could do all the planning, and yeah. mom said yes, so dad's going to say yes. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, we got, got the whole, yeah, whole thing going. Yeah, a party is easy when your parents are so chill. Do people drink alcohol at parties? Yes, people drink alcohol at parties. I was going to ask about the wine, but I got, I don't know, I got nervous. Um, do we do we, do we want to ask, like... The party, like, the people coming to, like, do, a, like, a BYOB thing? I don't know what that means. Like, bring your own beer? Beer is very nasty. I'm not sure what the last B stands for. Probably beer. What else would it be? Like, what, what, if you're just trying to mention alcohol, wouldn't you just say alcohol? Just like a BYOA? BYOA, yeah. Yeah, BYOA. That's we'll we'll mention it to the group. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh Eva will go to the garden and look for her dad. Follow. Um I think that um Vasily Petrov uh is a painter, but he also has gotten into toperaries. Oh my god, yes. In his Laszlo era. <laughs> yes. Hell yeah. He's still, you know, he's still kind of getting getting good at it. Um, he's like using, you know, trimmers uh, on on this, this bush that he has on a pot. He's like looking at it, kind of walking around, trimming a little bit of it, walking around. As we walk, as we walk up, Dad, do you want me to like trim the top of that? Like, I know you can't. You might need a ladder for that. <laughs> no! I got it, son. It's okay. Can we tell what, like, he's, like, shaping it to be? Is it just, like, an abstract shape, or is it, like, supposed to be something? It kind of looks like it's supposed to be a sphere. But okay. There's a little, it's a little lumpy. <laughs> me, me drawing a circle. It's hard to make a circle and then make it three-dimensional. <laughs> That's true. This is way harder. <laughs> um, Eva will walk up and uh, she'll be like, Oh, wow. Hi, Dad. Hello, darling. I like the, um, I like the bush. It's very uh, rotund. <laughs> oh. Rotund is a word for it, yeah. I like that description. I... I am practicing my spheres. Good practice, okay. yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's looking it's coming along nicely. That's good that's good to know. I think it looks a little um little more like a square. So squares are good too. New trying new art. 
Uh, what 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 did you come out here? Both of my children. At well, the same time. Because, <laughs> um, well, you're... We kind of wanted to talk well, to you're you. You're our dad. Yeah. Yeah. So we wanted to talk to you. Yeah, we enjoy your company. Yeah. What do you want to talk to me about? Um, well, we talked to mom about this, and we were thinking of having a party with some of our friends. Oh! Tomorrow night. That's a bit soon, but I'm sure we can arrange it. Have you talked to Jacob about it yet? Uh, we haven't. That was next. Yeah. I mean, he's kind of at the store right now. I could probably call him right now. We'll probably oh, call him. I thought he was making dinner. Oh, okay. Maybe he's getting groceries for dinner. Well, I hope he's making dinner soon because I'm hungry. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, uh, I, well, I'm not that hungry. Uh, okay. Shouldn't probably mention him to hurry up then if he's at the store. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to rush him, but yeah, 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 yeah. So is party okay with our friends tomorrow? Sh- sure. How how many people? Um, you know, the 20, 30 people. 30? Maybe like... I don't know. Maybe like two Some dozen. Some bring friends. Yeah, like 24 people. Yeah, like two Some dozen, something friends. like that. I don't know. Close. Are my I just children want to be throwing a rager? No. No, 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 no. <laughs> How does he know that word? Unless... He, uh, is a rate. Which would you approve of more? I, I've not taken you quite as the... The rampaging and and uh, pillaging type. I'm but... not. Uh, no, I'm not either. <laughs> I, I, I I've never pillaged. I then a simple I think, I think a simple we're, chill party. I think we're a bit too young to pillage. Well, that's um. You you're you're inviting a lot of people. <laughs> Ooh, Alex has a lot of friends. I I just invited some of the uh, the jazz band people. Nothing too uh, crazy is going to go on, hopefully. They're allowed, but they're nice. Mm-hmm. And yes. we will take care of anyone who's not nice. Yeah. Yes. And you, That's... Yeah, you raised me to be big. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think if everyone behaves themselves, no drinking and driving. Right. Of course. Then, um... I think it, I think it should be fine. Hey, Eva, should, should we ask him about the alcohol? Um, yes. Okay, so if no one is drinking and driving, can there still be drinking? Hmm. I mean, I am fine with you two having a bit of wine with dinner. Right, not that's sh- what I thought. But I'm not sure, I just don't want to, um, not every family has the same rules that we do. I don't, is... Not every family is like us. Definitely not. (laughs) But I, um, hmm. Well, I think maybe if we talk to the other parents... Father, wouldn't you rather it happen under your roof where you can, you know, keep an eye out for things? Well, certainly. That's why, that's what I practice with the two of you. Exactly. But I don't know if if other people, other parents are okay with their children drinking under. I just wouldn't want anyone to get in trouble with their parents. I feel... Yes, that's why You've I would check in. You've just given us a lot of freedom here. And we're good kids. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh-huh. What are you getting And at? I just want other children to have the same freedom that we get to have for a night. Hmm. So you are asking me to lie to other parents? No, 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 no. I'm not no. asking you to lie. We're just asking you to not say anything. Isn't that the same thing? No. 
Definitely not. Omit, omitting is different. I hardly say anything than... in class, and I'm not lying in class. That is a good point. Yeah, and and her art pieces are very good, and I I've heard that she doesn't talk in her art class as much, mm-hmm. and she still does her assignments. Like, mm-hmm. okay, just this night. Thank Thanks, Dad. Know. I will make sure. We'll make sure that everyone is being safe. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Of course. And it won't get out of hand. And no assholes allowed. Definitely, Definitely not. That's that's why we're holding the party. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I only invited good people. People that mm-hmm. I like. Personally. Mm-hmm. I have a very selective process. And I'm even more selective. Exactly. I think it should be a fun time. It's going to be great. It's going to be so fun. I'm going to go call Jakob. <laughs> Yes, let's go. Okay. Yeah, need to set up, uh, like, popcorn, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh Uh-huh. I'll see you at dinner. Dinner, yes. Dinner. He goes back to (laughs) run his (laughs) bush. (laughs) I'm imagining we have, like, one of those glass sliding doors to the backyard. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Fancy. Yeah. What do you mean fancy? I have one of those. Uh, I don't have one of those. I've never seen them. <laughs> it sounds fancy. <laughs> but uh, yeah, just, just slide it open. Walk back in. <sighs> Fist bump. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Where's my phone? Here's my phone. Call Jacob. Put him on speaker. Oh, yeah. You, you hear like... It rings a couple times, and he's like, uh, hello? Hello, Jacob. Hi, Jacob. Y- you're on speaker. What, uh... What are you doing right now? Boiling pasta. Wait, you're in the house? Yes, what do you kids, do you kids need something? We thought you were at the store, okay. Yeah, <sighs> mom mentioned that you were at the store. I don't oh, know what I went saying. earlier, I went earlier. Wait, oh, oh, okay. Okay, we can just... Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'll just What's... come... We'll just come and see you in the kitchen. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why we're having this conversation. Okay. <laughs> we're coming to the kitchen. We walk into the kitchen. He's like, you know, um, thinly slicing some... Uh, I don't know, some some vegetable. And he's like... Sauteing. Smells good. Thank you. Um, we were wondering um, if you could help us uh, set up a uh, little event for our friends. We already talked to mom and dad and everything. Mm-hmm. Uh, we were thinking about setting up a little uh, party uh, tomorrow. Um, for some of our friends, and we would like your help with setting that up. Okay. Um. Sure. Uh, what do you what do you need help with? Um, everything <laughs> besides the music. That's apparently coming. music is handled. Uh, we may need like popcorn and like alcohol. But, uh... Do your parents know about the alcohol? Yes, or is it- yes, mm-hmm. dad knows. They do. Okay. Um, and yeah, we we just want to get, like, maybe the basement rearranged. But, like, I mean, I, we can do that together. Yeah, Alex is very strong. Mm-hmm. And I have an eye for what looks good. Mm-hmm. Well, sure. Um... Great. Just give me a give me a shopping shopping list. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, or we can you just give me a list. We'll look through. We'll we'll see what we have. Mm-hmm. I'm assuming the alcohol is not going to be the nice stuff, so I can go to the store. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Of course not. Not not our not our nice collection. <laughs> right. Yeah. I remember what kids like. So. Okay. <laughs> Maybe kids have bad taste. Yeah. But wait, Jacob, since you know 
what kids like. You can help us make a list. Mm -hmm. Because we might be a little bit out of touch with what kids like. Mm -hmm. Yes. I don't think we're, we're not going to be throwing a party to 18th century standards. <laughs> or... 19th. 20th century standards. 19th century? I always get the, the century versus the year confused. Yeah, it's like always like one ahead for some reason. I Yes, but then I, I try to do a step back and I go too far back. Yeah. So. Well, the subtract one, not two. It, yes, it's confusing. Uh, okay. I don't know how to do re reverse math. Anyways. <laughs> right. Well... Yeah, I can certainly I can certainly yeah. help with that Great. that list. Great, perfect. Cool. Thank you. Anything James. else you two need before dinner? Nope. No. All good here on our front. Okay. Um, is there anything else the uh, Alex and, and Eva are doing this evening? When, like, that's all done, Eva's, like, pretty much, like, right after this, like, Eva's gonna, like, go to her room, and she's gonna, like, shut the door, and I think she's just gonna, like, sort of, like, grab her pillow, and I don't think, like, scream into it, but just, like, clutch it, like, really tight. Mood. <laughs> Yeah, Alex is just going to plank onto the bed. <laughs> Not even shut the door. And then he's just going to pull out his phone and start texting people. Um, who is Alex texting? Uh, Alex is going to text Ro. Um, Alex is going to text... Uh, he's just going to text like the band group chat and like forego te texting Ro. And yeah, just uh, just going to say like... Okay, party's on at 8. Uh, music's all set. We have... We're getting every pre everything prepared. Cool. <laughs> be there or be square. Wait, does 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 Alex also text Ro this? Because Ro is not in the band No, like the uh, our band group chat. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, yes. Palace mm -hmm. of the Dead. <laughs> the name Friend, that you have the picked. First I think this is the first Ren's heard of it. So they're just staring at their phone like, what? Ray sends back an e uh, a, a message that's like, cool. Um, I think I'm getting a ride with Alicia. So cool. I'll see you guys there. Oh, yeah. Address. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's important. <laughs> That's it for me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Eva will also, like, text, just, like, not even say anything, just, like, text Alicia the address, put, like, at eight, period, and then, like, probably turn off her phone and, like, put it aside. What, what does Ren do if this is the first time she's hearing about this party? Well, I think she takes her phone and she walks back to the house with Mr. Campbell and jumps on the bucket and opens the window and says, hey, hey, uh, question, question. Do you have, do you have a second? Oh, yeah. Hi. What's a party? Uh, just a party in general? Mm -hmm. And Red will flip around the phone. Yeah, like a, like a party. Gen generally speaking. I guess. Well, a party is any celebration. Anything you want to celebrate, have a... It's a good time. Okay. I think these so I should, days... I should, I should, so I should ask them, like, what we're celebrating. Well, sometimes teens just celebrate being teens. Like a birthday? No. <laughs> It's more about saying screw screw your parents, screw 
Screw your teachers. Oh, but I like my teachers. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm the metaphorical sense. I understand. Okay. It's, Continue. It's, it's about being young. About being stupid. You should go. I'm very kid. Okay. <laughs> well. Okay, so it's. You know, just, you like it's... swimming. Mm hmm. It's, you find it, what do you feel like when you, when you go swimming? A hole? Like, happy. I don't know. Some people get that by spending time with other people. Oh, I do too. Oh, so it's just like spending time with, so it's like school, but not at school. But there's no teachers, because but screw it's, your teachers. It's, people get a little, you know. At least in my experience, sometimes people get a little wild, but it's that's how they feel whole. Or at least that's how they 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 fill the hole. Okay. Okay. So I should go because it will help me understand what makes other people feel whole. And because it's that's a good way to think about it. Okay. You don't have to do anything that you don't want to do. Oh, yeah, no, I know that. Okay. Sometimes people aren't. The way that they think. Sometimes people think the way to be happy is by forcing other people to be the same way that they are happy. But everyone's happy is different. Mm -hmm. And it's okay if you don't want to do something. No one should make you feel like you have to do it. Yeah, consent's important. I know, I know. Uh, okay, yes, I know. Okay, thank you. Uh, I... Okay. I don't... Okay. Do you think the butt... Uh, um... I'm going to click on the address on my phone and see how long it's going to take me to get there on the bus. What time is it? Uh, 8 p.m. I can give you a ride. The car works? <laughs> yeah. I didn't know the car worked. Okay. Yes, the car works. How do you think I go in to get groceries? I don't know. I kind of figured they just appeared somehow. Or like you walked or you took the bus. I, I've i never seen I, you use the car ever. It's just kind of there. So I didn't, no, I'm sorry, no. I, did, I didn't know. No, I can okay. drive you. I can drive you. You can drive. That's cool. Can you teach me to drive? Ooh, big question, kiddo. Yeah. Wait, it's, we'll, wait, it is? I didn't know that. Okay. We'll, we'll work on it. We'll work on it. Yeah. Um, okay. Maybe I can ask one of my friends to teach me. I know one of them has a truck. <laughs> it's it's hard to learn how to drive a truck. Oh, oh, wait. Question. What is, is speeding? If you go like, <laughs> like 10 miles an hour <laughs> over the speed limit, is that speeding? Does that count or is that just like... You know, if you're going over the speed limit, that's speeding. Okay, but like, is it bad to go over the speed limit? Not necessarily. Okay. But there are some roads that cops are on. Right. And they could give you a ticket, and that's not that's not good. Okay. Okay. It's best for new drivers, especially young drivers, to go the speed limit or under. Okay. Okay, good to know. It's always safe to be cautious. This has been a lot of talking. Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't think I've ever heard you say this much at one time. Um, wanna come in, wash up. Dinner's almost okay. ready. Okay, okay. Um, so this this text gets sent to the the palace of the dead is that your your name palace of the dead group chat 
Um, so that means, Jimena, you get it. Um, I think this is probably while you're still head down listening to music. What do you, how do you react? I think all Jimena does is send like a little thumbs up into the group chat. Um, and doesn't like speak any more on it. I'm not sure, like, Jimena would probably definitely go, but they're not going to make any, like, they're not going to 100% confirm they're going. Um, so, yeah, so Jimena is planning on, on going home. Um, what is that plan there? Just to walk? Yeah. So you had, um, what, uh, what do you think, um, Valerie and, and Joseph, Joseph's, Joseph's, yeah, I don't know why that was hard to say. Uh, what do you think their, their place looks like? It's probably just a very nice, you know, white picket fancy suburban home like you know tire swing in the back except not really because i don't think they bought the house when they had like kids young enough to use it in the house but it's very much those vibes um you push open the the fence um and the um you know you see the the kitchen has like a window that like um that faces out to the this little kind of front um yard and you can see kind of moving behind the glass um your mom and your stepfather um kind of together in the kitchen um your mom is cooking and um joseph is helping you know kind of prep some uh maybe prep like a salad it looks like he's kind of cutting something up and then he kind of you see him kind of come around behind her and put his arms around her waist and give her a quick kiss on the cheek and she kind of laughs and you know likes it but also kind of is like trying to shake him off being like i'm cooking and you watch this little scene happening through the window as you're approaching Jimena just rolls her eyes hard, like, full roll, and, like, opens the door, steps in quite quickly, and, like, shuts it as loud as she can. Jimena? I'm home! Oh, one, one sec! And, you know, you see your mom come out, and she's kind of drying her hands on a towel, just like, I'm glad you're home. Yeah. What's for dinner? Uh, we're making stir fry. Stir fry. Okay. The minister is like unbuckling her platforms and taking them off at the door. Your mom kind of hovers a bit. Um, do you think you could help set the table? Okay. It's there's four of us. Um, Finn's home. Oh. All right. Yeah. Um, like come out, throws all her stuff down, and goes into the kitchen. Where is the silverware? It's in that drawer. And then it goes and like gets um gets the wrong like spoons or something like something deliberately a bit dickish and like gets them out of the drawer and starts setting the table like she gets knives um and like, like you get you get fork spoons and knives yeah all three on the table <laughs> um your mom kind of keeps glancing over to you um your mom i don't think i've explained um valerie you know kind of this is the first time 
in our podcast, I guess, that we've seen her. Um, she's a Hispanic woman in her early 50s with long black hair that uh, now that she, she has it kind of um, put up in a bun. Um, she wears glasses and a turtleneck and um, a necklace with a little silver um, cross pendant. Um, and she looks tired, but happy, genuinely happy to see you. Um, she kind of keeps glancing over and is like, um, could you get, uh, fill up the water as well? Yeah. There's a pitcher. And then it like trudges over to the pitcher and picks it up and goes to fill it. When she notices her mom's looking at her, like, genuinely happy to be there, her meta's face, like, wrinkles and, like, a uncomfortable, like, dis- like, she doesn't know how to react to the genuine emotion on her mom's face, so she's kind of just, like, instinctually goes, ew, internally, so her face, like, scrunches up, and, um, she, like, avoids her mom's eyes and just fills with the picture. She looks away. Um, noticing your uncomfort. Um, I think, you know, dinner basically is, is practically ready. Um, you know, she starts plating and, and, and bringing food out. Um, and uh, Finn Carter, your, your, your stepbrother, um, comes, you know, he kind of comes down the stairs and he's like, Oh, hey! Hey, Humana! Hi, Finn. Um, Finn's tall and, and lanky. He's um, in college. He's he's double majoring in uh, religion and music, and um, definitely, you know, almost if you know, it's it's likely you know that he'll probably bring out his guitar after dinner and 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 play. <laughs> Um, and he's home for, um, kind of, you know, the weekend. He doesn't, you know, he, he goes to college, uh, not too far away. So he's able to, um, travel home to visit. Um, and, uh, you know, kind of, he helps kind of finish, like, you know, setting up with you, you know, or set, you know, helping kind of grab a couple last or you know like salt and pepper and stuff to bring them to the table and, and um helping set up um and you know everyone sits down and starts eating um is there like traditions family traditions uh dinner traditions that uh jimena's family has I think there is a point where Valeria probably uh, did grace before they eat, but I don't know mm-hmm. if Jimena's been there at dinner long enough to know whether or not they still do that. So when they sit down, um, Jimena kind of like sl- like slumps up against the back of the chair and just like kind of watches to see what everyone else is doing. Um. I think, I think Valerie does kind of look and, and um, kind of goes, okay. Um, and kind of quietly like murmurs to herself, but it's like, you, you can start, you can start eating. Um, there's kind of this slight maybe awkwardness that she's like, there's two people who are here that aren't always here for dinner. And she's like, kind of trying to be like, let's just, let's just have dinner. Let's try to have this as smooth as possible. <laughs> Jimena like, doesn't start eating immediately. Just kind of like, not glare staggers at her mom, but definitely watches her and then like, takes her fork and stabs it into the stir fry and starts eating but very slowly 
um, Joseph, um, your, you know, your stepfather, um, uh, Joseph is um, also, you know, uh, in his kind of, you know, late 40s, um, early 50s. He's a he's a white man with um, his hair is actually he it's starting to go gray, but he um, he dyes it to keep it uh, red color. Um, <laughs> so it's it's almost a little vibrant, um, but you know, he kind of smiles at you and goes, how's school? Good, I guess. How's work? Oh, well, you know, I don't want to bore you all. It's, it's, there's, you know, corporate stuff as always, um, that you know, could complain about, but there's some, or, uh, uh, CEO is trying to get some new policy enacted and it's, um, Jimena, like, lets him talk on and, like, keeps eating, but her leg starts bouncing under the table, and she's not fully paying attention to what she says. What he says, just, like, zoning out, pretty much, as soon as he started talking. I think, um, you know, dinner kind of just continues, and, and, and Finn starts talking about what he's studying right now, and, um you're not really listening to what's being said but you do feel um your mom's eyes keep kind of glancing over at you and and looking away and going back to eating and um you know then you know dinner has kind of come to a close and she starts to kind of get up and start you know collecting people's dirty dishes to help with um you know loading the dishwasher what does Kimena do as dinner's coming to a close um I I think Kimena doesn't really know how to handle herself here so she kind of like just stays sitting at the table and like doesn't move to help do anything she just kind of sits there slumps even further down in her chair just watches um Finn's like hey you wanna you still hungry she like glances yeah. at him looks away yeah do you wanna go get ice cream him and I just nods and starts getting up he grabs his jacket and he's like, well, you know, we'll be back soon. Uh, want us to pick up anything? And Valerie comes out in the kitchen. Oh, uh, where are you, where are you going? Out. Okay. Um, well, if I don't know how late you're planning on going out, but you're, you know, I made up your bed, clean sheets, um, you know, if I don't see you, good night. As as Valerie's talking, um, Jimena's like putting pulling on one of her her boots, and like quickly gets frustrated with how long it takes. So she's got like ha- one foot like half in the boot, and then the other one in her hand. She just kind of in the middle of her mom talking. She just like walks out the door and gets just speed walks to the car. Finn's just kind of like, okay, comes in and uh, comes around to, you know, he's got, um, I think he's got a Jeep, Um, you know, gets into the drivers and he's just like, starts up and doesn't say anything, just, you know, maybe waits to, you know, that you're buckled in and like your shoes pulled on, just kind of sits there and quiet, (laughs) starts up and starts driving he 
kind of just drives around um, town a little bit and then eventually pulls up and there's this little ice cream shop you've been to before and he gets out and, you know, it's like, I think I'm gonna switch it up and try a sorbet. Hmm. What's in a sorbet again? It's like fruit. It's like vegan or non-dairy. Oh. There's like co- it looks like they have coconut. Ugh, God, don't fun. get coconut. Jesus. Oh. Is coconut bad? It's gross. Why would you eat coconut? There's like you literally like coconut? everything. No. Get something else. Get your sorbet. Okay. Uh... Well, there's a tangerine sorbet. You can get that. I'll allow it. Okay. I'm glad I have your approval. What do you want to get? I think, um... mm, The usual, probably. What is Humana's usual? Um... A whole bunch of chocolate ice cream with strawberry syrup poured on it. He goes up, he orders, he pays, um, and hands you. Uh, Is it a cup or a cone? It's like a bowl. (laughs) Yeah, he like hands you the bowl and has this little thing of sorbet. She like shovels a bunch of like crushed peanuts onto it and like throws a whole bunch of sugary stuff from the if there's like a self-serve station with a bunch of toppings yeah and it's like a mess like hot it's an absolute mess and i think he just kind of you know you, he grabs a table for you too and, and and sits down it's just eating his sorbet and um he's he's ready to listen if he wants to talk but otherwise would just kind of have you around, you know, maybe drive around town a bit more before heading back home. I think Kimena picks at her ice cream a little bit and then eventually just, like, stabs the spoon into the top of the scoops and, like, shoves her hands in her pockets and, like, is sitting there, like, visibly debating something on her face before she speaks up and she goes... Do you ever get tired of doing the same shit over and over again? Yeah, I guess. What have you been doing over and over again? She just, she shrugs like, I, I don't know. Like, I've been doing this, like, thing at school for years and it's, it's kind of, I don't like doing it anymore. Like, before it was easier, but now it's kind of, like, frustrating. I don't know. Do you have to keep doing it? No, I guess. But I've been doing it for so long that it's kind of, like, what I am now, I guess. You, I'm sure that, you know, in my experience, you always think that other people expect something from you and really they're just stuck in their own head. So, you know, you probably, like, if you don't want to do it, you don't have to keep doing it. It's it's less it's less I don't want to do it and more like I don't know what I can do outside well, of it. It's is this like an extracurricular? Like you could say that, yeah. Well, do you know other options? You know, we could I'm I'm always a big fan of pros and cons lists. Hmm. 
Mina like keeps picking at her ice cream, but instead of eating it, she's just like picking up the spoon and like stabbing it into the ice cream over and over again. Um, it's hard to quantify, I guess. I. I don't. <sighs> she like stabs the ice cream one final time and then like sits back in her chair. I feel like I keep doing things that maybe don't serve the people around me. And it's kind of. At first, I thought it was good, and now it's just kind of like obviously not in anyone's best interests, except maybe mine. This is stupid. I... No, that's not stupid. I mean, I don't... I guess I don't, you know, I don't, I don't relate to that, so I can't, I can't offer my own advice, but it's not stupid. Nothing you feel is stupid. It's all about, you know, life's all about feeling. Amanda, like, scrunches her face up again like she did when um, Valerie looked happy at her being there. Like, she doesn't know what to do, how to deal with it, and she's just kind of like, I guess. I'll figure it out. Yeah. You're like, what, 17? No one's supposed to know what, like, their life is at 17. Be easier if I did, though. Yeah, well... That's for sure. Life would be a lot easier if we all just... knew what we were supposed to do. I'm gonna shrugs. just goes back to eating her ice cream. Actually eating it now, yeah. not stabbing it. <laughs> yeah, so what, you know, do you think that Jimena does anything else out with, with Finn that night or just kind of remain quiet for the rest of the night? And... I think um, she, they, I don't think they do anything else. I think they eat their ice cream, leave, and then they drive back to Valerie's house. But mm -hmm. Jimena doesn't go back inside she just kind of stares up at the window that is her room and then just waves bye to Finn and starts- You're not coming inside? Not tonight. Okay. Well, good night. Good night. She like pops open her parasol and starts walking back to her grandma's house. Is there anything else that uh, people plan to do this night? I forgot to mention. Um, the the band group chat includes uh, Josh, right? Like the jazz well, band okay. group chat? Do you message the jazz band group chat or the band band group chat? The jazz band group chat. I first I men I messaged Palace of the Dead. Oh, and then you messaged the jazz band group chat. Mm -hmm. Yes, the jazz band does include Josh. I think since uh, since Josh gave Alex the uh, the brutal condition, um, Alex is just going to just gonna go right out and tell everybody in the jazz band that he's going to be holding a party Ooh. and that like it's going to be at this address at eight uh it's gonna say bring your best halloween costumes does alex do anything else to um does it there's no, you know, people are like, you know, there's lots of reactions to that message. Um, some people are like, oh, hell yeah. And like, 
Oh, thanks for hosting, Alex. And, um, like, what's the address again? You know, like, <laughs> we'll get right. Um, there's no Josh is not among those responses. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think he doesn't. He doesn't do anything else in that group. It just like posts it and leaves, <laughs> essentially. <laughs> um, is also gonna tell Ro. Because he knows that Ro is not in the group chat, tells him about uh, just like costume stuff. Yeah, that's basically it. <laughs> Does Ro? Did you want to do something, Catherine? Um. Yeah, I just wanted to mention. I think that Ro doesn't go back to Phil's apartment that night. I think he just sleeps in the bed of his truck, like, parked off the side of the road. There's, like, a bunch of blankets back there. And, like, he's done this before, like, sometimes with his dad to, like, stargaze and stuff. But it's not as fun <laughs> this night. I think he just doesn't want to, like, go back to this apartment where, like, just, just like, a big reminder that, like, that 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 his family isn't there so i think you get uh like a couple of texts around 2 a.m you can decide if rose still awake or not but like around 2 a.m from phil just being like hey uh you're coming back tonight <laughs> <laughs> you have plans um hmm I think Ro would be asleep, so he doesn't see it. There's like one missed call in the morning, you know, like just a voicemail, just like, uh, hey, hope you're not like murdered or anything. Um, this is not, oh, okay. I hope to hear from you soon. Ugh, I hope I sound good in this. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> God, I hope, ugh, this is just evidence, I don't, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> He's saying this on the voicemail? Oh my god. He's like, I totally, I'm totally worried about you, dude. Okay, bye. I love him. Ro actually does laugh at that. They're like, <laughs> they like laugh at it, and they're like, what an idiot. Um, but it, I think that is a little nice to know that somebody was concerned. And so Ro texts back and says, LOL, I was out of friends. Yeah. Uh, Phil doesn't, Phil doesn't respond. Like when, what time does Ro wake up in the morning? If... Probably like with the sunrise. Yeah. So pretty early. Yeah. Phil, Phil definitely is asleep now. <laughs> um, he sleeps for four hours. And that's uh, right before, like, from, like, 5 a.m. till 9 a.m. is when Phil sleeps, so. <laughs> what? What a guy. <laughs> he's, he's, he's a little, a little, a little man. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, Jimena, when you head on, um, you're heading back to your grandma's place. Mm -hmm. Um, do you like what? What's kind of the routine? You know, of of when getting back home. Usually, it's get home, like check up on the house call her mom if her mom wants her to call her or if it's like that time of the week to call um eat something do like a bit of homework and then pass out um but i think it tonight it's um sit in her grandma's room and just kind of read a book or just lay around or something okay um, I think when you do 
you know, you walk up, you know, you walk in and um, you, you do see there's a package on the left on the doorstep. Jimena like squats down to read the name on the package. Um, it is from Marcus Garcia. She just sighs and picks it up, unlocks the door, and like is about to set down the package on the pile of letters and other packages that he's also sent, but hesitates and kind of looks at it before taking it into her grandma's room with her. Have you opened the other packages no. and letters? All untouched. But do you open this one? Yeah. You open it and um, there is like some kind of tissue paper and stuff and, and a little card on top. Before opening, like the, uh, like getting rid of the tissue paper and stuff, she like takes the card, looks at it. It's um, you know, it's like a Hallmark card, something bought probably from you know a drugstore with like a little like, it has like some like, uh, balloon like print on the front, um, and inside and kind of. Um, no, it's not like the neatest handwriting, but it's legible and it just says happy 14th birthday, Jimena. I, uh, it's still, you know, Package by package, I hope to make it up to you, Dad. She sighs and she like looks around for a date on the card to see when it was sent. There's, there's, there's no, no date on it, but the wording seems to be that it's. There's like two. Okay, there's like two. Actually, if you look at it, there's almost like it's, it's. There's two parts of it. There's like the little like inscription of like happy birthday i hope and then it like picks up again it's like i you know i hope that i hope that i can make it up to you with each package it's as if there was a a card was written started to be written and then the rest of the message was filled in later Mena sets the card down very carefully on the bed and then like starts to sift through the tissue paper there's like it's like a kind of a cheap um uh eyeshadow palette and um like a thing of like black lipstick and a thing of like red lipstick and like a pack of like brushes, like makeup brushes. Jimena, like when she was unwrapping the packaging, her like eyebrows are like creased and she's kind of like expecting something like bad. And when she finally opens it up and looks, she's like, oh. She like turns the eyeshadow palette over and like flicks it open uncaps the lipstick and like tosses the seals to the side like draws on one of her on like her left hand or something with the red lipstick hmm. she like caps it and then puts it back in the box just kind of grabs the card it holds it and just sits there for a bit does Jimena do anything else that night? I think she puts like her earbuds in and like still holding the card. She's just laying on the bed and eventually she falls asleep with the lipstick still on her hand and the card like 
It probably like falls off the bed, but she still had it in her hand. What she does is all. I'm tempted to leave it there. I I I feel like we got we got some good character scenes for like almost everybody, pretty much everybody. Yeah. We got family relationships today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. a lot of friend, a lot of <laughs> yeah. Who? <Ooh. laughs> it's it's not a dramatic episode, but it's more of a uh, it's a narrative yeah. one. Yeah. 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 That's it for today's episode of The Cromwell Chronicles. Session three. Session three. This episode featured Saffron Heftgab as the Master of Ceremonies, Victoria Nielsen as Daisy Mae Fowler, Catherine Rarett as Roe Nielsen, Casey Fleming as Ren Aurora, Quinn Borison as Alexander Petrov, Karina Revia as Eva Petrova, and Arcadia Reeves as Mana Carter Garcia. This episode was edited by Karina Revia and Saffron Heftgaub with help from Casey Fleming. Our main theme music is composed by Quinn Borison. Sound effects and additional music are sourced and adapted under a Creative Commons Attribution License. For a full list of credits, please visit our website. MidnightCeremoniesMedia.com